Is what I'm about to tell you a yoke? Is that simply a bad joke or a bad opener? Possibly. But we're going to learn about yokes uh, in today's scripture. Open your Bible to Lamentations or your app or just listen along, follow along. Uh, Lamentations 3, the yoke. All right, we're going to start at verse 21. Yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. So it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. And it is good for people to submit at an early age to the yoke of his discipline. Is there situations where a lot of us would have given up, but you've had the tenacity to continue to hope? Then this is going to identify with you. Yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. It means he loves you and he will always be faithful to you. His mercies begin afresh every morning. Sometimes we're like, man, I messed up yesterday. I, I messed up real bad yesterday. I messed up real bad last night. So God's mercy is fresh every morning. Every morning you wake up, God gave you breath which means he loves you. There's an opportunity to repent for what you did last night or yesterday or last year and just get over it. Let it be washed away. God says he throws uh, it as far as the east is from the west. He's not trying to remember that foolishness from last night or yesterday. The minute you say, Lord God, forgive me. I am not doing that anymore. I am going to grab the great things of the Holy Spirit and good things and help people and love people, worship you, trust in you. He, all that other stuff, he forgets. Every morning, his mercy is new every morning it says i say to myself the lord is my inheritance doesn't matter if grandma left me a million dollars it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you you have a million dollars on earth and then you die and be separated from the treasure of heaven forever who cares if you live to be a hundred but you die and for the next trillion years in eternity you are separated from everything good who cares about riches the lord is my inheritance The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. I'm not going to put my faith in a uh, million dollars or being able to pay the bills because of money or being able to run a million miles because I'm young and healthy or whatever. I'm not putting my faith in any of that. The Lord is my inheritance. I put my faith, my, my hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. What do you depend on today? Are you depending on your strength, your job, your parents, your children to take care of you when you're old? What are you depending on? Hey, all of that stuff, other people have depended on it and it has fallen through for them. Let's learn from that example and let's depend on the Lord because it says he's good to those that depend on him, to those who search for him. Do you search for him? You're trying to make a big decision and you say, hey, let me not make the decision before I go and pray. You have a little decision to make. Do you say, hey, let me not make this little decision before I pray and before I seek with the Lord? Or do, do you ponder, what would the Lord have me to do? What brings him glory in this moment? If you, if you don't, start. It says he's good to those. He's good to those who depend on him, who seek, who search for him. So it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. I told someone the other day, listen, the Lord is always talking. That's what I told him. It was a young man going through some things. Um, he had some, some court cases coming against him. And I said, listen, the Lord is always talking. He's always, he's a radio. You turn on the radio dial, there's always stations playing 24-7. There's some 
talk radio, sports radio. There's always something. You turn on the radio, there's always something. XM radio, over the air radio, doesn't matter. You turn on the radio, there's always something to listen to. Uh, that may, might be good, might be bad, but there's always something there. Turn on the TV, there's always something to watch. Maybe good, maybe bad, maybe boring. There's always something there. Go online, there's always something to be. There's the Lord is always on, but sometimes we're just tuned to the wrong station. We're listening to our boss who's yelling at us. We're listening to uh, the station of worry. We're listening to the station of anxiety. We're letting our mind be occupied with the uh, station of what are our children doing or how I'm going to feed the family or what, what state should I move to, who should I marry. Our minds are tuned into different stations. So since our minds are tuned into other stations, we don't hear the Lord. We're not downloading what the Lord has for us. But he's saying, listen, tune in to me. Depend on me, search for me, and I have good for you. And guess one of those good things is salvation, redemption. It is. I'm going to give you a number at the end of this to make, if you don't know if you're saved, to text to find out. Or to help you get saved, not to find out. Last, last verse. And it is good for people to submit at an early age to the yoke um, of his discipline, of God's discipline. Yoke is, they used to put... Uh, they talk about a yoke of oxen. They put a yoke around an animal's neck, and they still do, and it allows them to steer and control the animal. And you go, why did they put that in the Bible? Uh, because he's trying to make a clear point that we're all driving the bus of our life. So where we are now is because we drove ourselves here. We can say, hey, I was born to this family. I was, you know, uh, destined to have this life. Um, you may have been born to this family or a certain family or born in a certain situation or grew up in a certain city, speaking a certain language, looking a certain color, but you drive your own bus. You can look at that situation and say, I'm going to praise the Lord and I'm going to believe him to bring me to a, a better city or a better situation. You could work hard to try to get to a different situation. Ultimately, you can't control how you started, but you 100% control how you end because people can control a lot of things, but they can't control your mind. The Bible even says, it says, why worry about a person that can destroy your body? When there's a God who controls the soul, who decides where your soul spends eternity, who can destroy the soul. Why is that a choice? Because you control your mind. So who got you here? You did. So he's saying, listen. Stop being yoked to your own ambition. Stop being yoked to your own desires. Stop being yoked to your own frustrations. Instead, be yoked to the Lord. Let Get out of the driver's seat. Walk around to the other side. Get in the passenger seat for once in your life and let God drive. Be yoked to him. Give him control. Let him drive you to where he wants you to be. Let him tell you the job he wants and the, the husband or wife he wants for you. If you're not married, if you are married, he wants you to work through that situation. Not the way you want to work through it, but the way he wants you to work through it. So stop, take the yoke off yourself, get out of the driver's seat, get out of control, out, of, out from under control, get in the passenger seat and depend on the Lord. Let God have that yoke. Okay, I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Listen, if someone shared this video with you, and I encourage everyone to share these videos, um, they're, they're private videos, but I want you to share. Um, if they're blessing you, share them with somebody else. And by private, I mean they're not blasted everywhere. You can't just Google this and find it. If you didn't get sent the video, there's probably nowhere other to get it than um, to get sent it by uh, EBC or by a friend sharing it to you. So um, if you're enjoying this and someone sent this to you and you want to continue to get these messages, text the word prayer to the number below. Um, if you're not sure that you're saved, this is the part of the video where you want to make sure you, you're right with God. Text the word faith. Because remember, if you're not right with God, if your soul isn't secure in the Lord, you, you, there's peril. I mean, who knows what? Why not be right with the Lord? And really, we do know. We know there's death and hell. So why not be right with the Lord? And let's do this right now. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I give my soul, my life, my thoughts my heart to you take control take the yoke forgive my sins i want to walk with you in jesus name amen if you said that prayer and meant it walk with the lord and let him uh write your name in the lamb's book of life that's the eternal book of life where all those that are going to heaven are, are, are kept they're written 
We believe you're saved. You are saved. Chase after the Lord. His mercies are new every single morning. So don't worry about what you did five minutes ago, five days ago, or five years ago. He's forgiven it. Walk with the Lord in the peace of the Lord. If you want to learn more about God and you want to be not a surface level Christian, we have enough surface level Christians that have never read their Bible, don't even understand the Bible, spewing craziness about the Bible. If you don't want that to be you, we don't want it to be you. You don't want it to be you. Text root it to the number below. Uh, we go through the entire Bible, every single verse in one year. It's good. Learn about the Bible. We explain it. Don't worry about, hey, I don't understand it. We go through it. Every single verse. We don't pick and choose what you learn. We literally go uh, cover to cover, New Testament to Old Testament, every single verse. Uh, so that's rooted to the number below. If you suffer from some type of addiction or depression or anxiety, why not be free? Freedom. Text freedom to the number below. Get free. Why not? And if you want to stand with us in our fight to keep Jesus Christ in schools, in jails, in homes, uh, evangelize on the streets, text give. Whatever you give matters. Whether it's a dollar or a million, your monthly gift helps. Um, and it helps us continue to do what uh, we do as believers and as a church. Don't complain about the world's problems if you're not putting money toward helping them. Um, or physically out there in the streets like us helping or both preferably both um, But if not both at least at least give to those that are trying to make a difference. All right That's all for me today. I love you more importantly God loves you and I pray and hope I see you in the next video